You're getting back in shape now. You've got a whole new attitude. To get the most from life, you know what you've got to do. Join the Cardiac Fitness Club now. Oh, the feeling can't be beat. Oh, no. And just a little exercise can get you right back on your feet. You're getting back in shape now. You've got a whole new attitude. To get the most from life, you know what you've got to do. Join the Cardiac Fitness Club now. Oh, the feeling can't be beat. Oh, no. And just a little exercise can get you right back on your feet. You're getting back in shape now. You got a whole new attitude to get the most from life. You know what you got to do. Join the cardiac fitness crowd now. Oh, the feeling can't be beat. Oh, no. Yes, Dr. Shaman and his staff can help you get Heart disease is becoming more common as our society ages. Heart bypass surgery is now done more frequently in Canadian hospitals than appendectomies. But is bypass surgery always necessary? A doctor at a clinic in southwestern Ontario is promoting a non-surgical alternative. It's a clinically proven program to reverse arterial blockage without going under the knife. He heads up a group of patients who've decided to take the non-surgical route. They are the Cardiac Fitness Association. Dr. John Shaman operates the clinic in Breslau near Kitchener, Ontario. But a heart attack as such occurs when part of your heart dies. Gord Gilhuli is a loyal member of the Cardiac Fitness Association. He has twice experienced the trauma of a heart attack. I caught up with him on the treadmill at Shaman's Clinic. He exercises religiously seven days a week. I have had two heart attacks. Uh, the latest one was uh, just this last July. and. Um, I know that the intensity of the heart attack and my recovery time were greatly affected by the fact that uh, this program has put me in a lot better shape than I've ever been in my life, actually. Well, maybe when I was a teenager. But. Gilhuli is a sold-out disciple of Shaman's reversal program, which includes a stringent, ultra-low-fat diet. I follow uh, the Ornish plan, the plan that we uh, use out here, and so I'm a total vegetarian and uh, try and keep my total calories that I consuming a day uh, you know, at 10% from fat, no more. The Ornish program for reversing heart disease was developed after clinical work by the American cardiologist, Dr. Dean Ornish. The shaman says the idea that arterial blockage could be reversed without surgery used to be radical fringe medicine, but no longer. These studies were uh, amazing landmark studies in that they proved and showed for the, for the first time in the history of medical science that atherosclerosis was actually reversible. Al Lamb is in his 80s. He's been active and health conscious all his life. Despite that, he developed heart disease because, he says, of his eating habits. But the thing that disappointed me then that I was working out at the Y three times a week. I was swimming every week, playing badminton, square dancing, didn't smoke, etc., etc. Or just, I guess you are what you eat, probably. Some see Shaman's program of low-fat eating, regular exercise, stress management, and group support as being radical. He disagrees. If you think about that for a minute, uh, what actually happens with the bypass, I mean, it's pretty radical, really. You have to, you know, saw through the breastbone and uh, open up the chest and get into the heart and, and uh, take veins out of the legs or arteries out of the chest and re-divert them and detour them uh, to supply the undersupplied artery of the heart. Um, that's standard therapy. Well, I think that's pretty radical. Shaman says many view a bypass as a fix, but he says that's not the long-term solution. A bypass, on average, if you look in the modern medical world, statistics seem to show that a bypass only lasts five to seven years. That's an amazing amount of uh, heavy-duty surgery to only give you an average of five to seven years. Ed Granger has been a member of the Cardiac Fitness Association for several years. He sees Shaman as an encourager and a motivator. I think what he does is to build in, in people that have a coronary problem 
uh, a sense of confidence that maybe they can lick the problem. And that's what I find beneficial about it. Shaman admits that motivating patients is not always easy. It requires a very costly commodity, time. It may only take a matter of minutes to tell them that they need a bypass and to book it. But to make them change their life it takes a tremendous amount of time and dedication and effort. David Schmidt is one of those Shaman has managed to convince. I think this is a lot better doing you know, what we're doing here than uh, you know, getting all kinds of medication and trying to keeping our old lifestyle. We have to change our lifestyle to get better. We've got no choice. No heart bypass since and I'm fantastically well and definitely only by Dr. Shaman's directions. Doctors tell Ed Granger he'd likely be toast by now were it not for Shaman's program. He says he benefits from the support and encouragement of others with the same problem. You realize that you're no longer an isolated individual. You're part of a group and there's a camaraderie to that which is sort of self-supporting in your, in your lifestyle. I think it's a very good thing. You're getting back in shape now, you've got a whole new attitude To get the most from life, you know what you've got to do Join the Cardiac Fitness Club now, oh the feeling can't be beat Oh no, and just a little exercise Can get you right back on your feet, oh yeah Can help you get 